When you're halfway through a challenge and you think that you just blew it Like falling off a log, just get up and don't poo-poo it Adventure's loads of fun, seize them and pursue it Take that leap of faith, find the will and do it We can do it, we can do it, there's really nothing to it With help from our friends, to work our own way through it We can do it, we can do it, we can really do it We've got the skill, just have the will and do it You know a true friend's help can come in many shapes and sizes Especially when that friend is me, a master of disguises We can do it, we can do it, there's really nothing to it With help from our friends, to work our own way through it We can do it, we can do it, we can really do it We've got the skill, just have the will We've got the skill, just have the will And do it! You're just in time. Pull up a stump, baby. Oh, uh, I can't right now. I'm going to the toy store with my dad. Will's been saving his allowance. <laughs> Flags. But I'm so full I couldn't eat another coin. Yep, and today's the big day. Oh, a new toy, you say? Gee, we don't have a song for a brand spanking new toy, do we, boys? Really? Just kidding. <laughs> we have a song for everything. Hit it. Oh, there's nothing like a brand new toy to bring out the best that's in a boy. You just can't wait to crack the plastic, cause what's inside is so fantastic. He's working hard and doing chores and checking out the big toy stores. A brand new toy can bring the best out in a boy. And finally, I've saved enough to get myself some special stuff. Like the latest, greatest action figures. Really smart. Much, much bigger! I can choose, cause I'm much bigger! Yes. A brand new toy can bring the best out in a boy. But keep an eye on where it's tall. And hopefully it won't get lost. A brand new toy can bring the best out in a boy. There'll be no need to despair if you treat your toys with special care. Will, are you down there? We're leaving. Coming! Gotta go. I'll see you when I get back. We're home. How'd it go? Can't talk. Gotta play with my balloon now. Look, Mom! I got the very last one! It's Captain Micro Nano! You know, the galaxy's smallest action hero? <laughs> I see. And look! It comes with a ship! The Micro Hawk Interceptor! And Captain Micro Nano's pocket shrink ray! They used to have a smaller hero, but nobody could find him. Be sure and take good care of it now. I will! I promise! Blast off! Okay, do it! Let's play! I'm no longer do it! I am! Meshing control, really short haircut man. Prepare for blast off. In T minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition. We have liftoff. Oh no! Sorry, Will. Oh, he was brand new. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be? Well, there could be all sorts of strange and icky stuff lurking down that vent. New balloon! Say you like it! It's a very pretty balloon. Kate, can I borrow your pretty balloon? Okay, one minute. What you doing? <laughs> I'm vent fishing! <laughs> I think you got a nibble, Will. Haul it up. <laughs> it's fighting. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What'd you catch? Just a crummy old plastic monkey. Here's your balloon, Kate. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Too bad you can't use Captain Micro Nano's shrink ray. Thank you.
That's it! We'll use the shrink ray to go down there and rescue Captain Micro Nano. But first we're going to need supplies. I'll be right back! Dad, where do the vents go? They run all through the house like a great big tunnel system made of metal. Here. What's that? It's called a floor plan. It's like a map of the house. We're here, your room is here, and these are the vents. What's that thing at the end? That's the furnace. It blows hot air through the vents and warms up the house. Can I borrow this? <laughs> what do you need it for? Oh, I'm just playing a game with Captain Micro Nano. Sure. Just put it back when you're done. I promise. Thanks. What's all this? Supplies. Now all we need to do is set the shrink ray for nine minutes. What happens then? Then the shrink ray wears off, so we better be out of the vent. How do we get back out before our tiny time wears off? Don't worry, I've got it all figured out. As the egg timer counts down, the popsicle stick will hit the tape measure button and zoom! We're pulled up and out of the vent before the shrink ray wears off. I need you to set the timer. Gotcha! They're making headlines. Do it. Look. Guitar solo. Yeah. Come on. What are you doing down in the tunnels of mystery? Actually, they're just the vents in my house. And we're looking for a toy. There's a lot of toys down here. What does it look like? Astronaut toy, about this tall. You mean the new guy? Shiny suit, dashing good looks. That's Captain Micro Nano. Have you seen him? Yeah, he bounced by here a few minutes ago. He was heading right for the furnace. Which way to the furnace? Straight down. If you hurry, it might not be too late. What do you mean, too late? Hear that sound? That sound means the furnace is warming up, which means it's gonna get very warm down here. Like melting warm. We've got to run. Almost forgot. Beware the duct monster. Again with the duct monster. So, they think they can just come down here and take whatever they like. We'll see about that. Well, do you find it a tad warm down here? A little. We must be getting close to the furnace. Look! Captain Micro Nano! Are you okay? Can't hold on! Slipping into furnace! Save yourselves! You heard him. No way! I saved up all my money to get you! I'm not leaving you down here to melt! <laughs> not so fast, tiny boy and his sweaty sidekick! Hey, who you calling tiny boy? I think he meant me. Oh, wait a second. Who are you calling sidekick? What do you think you're doing in my vent? Uh, saving my new toy so I can play with it again. If you like playing so much, why don't you stay down here with the rest of us forgotten toys? Well, I'd like to, but I have to get to the surface before the shrink ray wears off. We don't have much time. Grab hold, Captain. Take a 
mess with you. It's been so long since we've played on the surface. Close call. You said it. Hey, Will. Kate tells me you've been doing a little vent fishing. Catch anything? Yeah. You should see some of the stuff that was down there. <gasps> this is a rare nitro bubble speed wagon. I haven't seen one of these things since, well, since I was your age. You can have it. Really? Sure. As long as you promise to take good care of it. Oh, I will. Promise. Hey, honey, guess what Will found? So, kiddies, let this be a lesson. Toys are special, so don't go messing with your favorite cars and dolls, action figures, and bouncy balls. Be extra careful around six and vents. Protect your toys from dings and dents. Yeah, a brand new toy can bring the best down in a bar. There'll be no need to despair if you treat your toys with special care. Attention Cubo Kids. Megabug has taken all of the toys in the virtual land of Star World. A UFO? And my doll. My favorite toy. Now they are mine. Power up with Mia, Matt, Bebop, and Boomy as they face the challenges in their video game world to win their toys back. Imagination, friendship, and teamwork are the key to fun on Super Boomy. Right here on Cubo. Hey, Will, why the long face? My parents are going out on a date tonight. So who's looking after you? My grandma and grandpa, I guess. Oh, goody! I like your grandparents. So what's the problem? I just don't want my parents to go out. That's all. Mm-hmm. I think I see what's going on here. Hit it, boys! Sometimes your parents need a break and they get dolled up for a date. Maybe they'll go see a show and leave you with someone you know. Someone that you know, like your goofy favorite aunt. Who doesn't love their aunts? No, not that kind of aunt. But what if it's someone new? Then what are you supposed to do? Should you be polite and quiet or provoke a kitty riot? Oh no, don't do that. And if Granny just can't sit, do your folks stay home and quit? No siree, they call around until a sitter can be found. They'll take care of you. You mean someone I don't even know? Someone new? Life's about trying new things like giving up your water wings and sleeping with no lights on besides the sitter will soon be gone. The babysitter's gone? And while you're being tended, you might find yourself befriended by the person looking after you. A new friend you never knew. Yeah. Will, time to come in. Hey, where are we going? Your father and I are going out on a date, remember? That's gross. Gross. We got a babysitter for the evening. Aww. And we expect you to treat Bailey with complete respect. What's a Bailey? A Bailey is a teenage babysitter who comes highly recommended by Sam's mom. I don't want a babysitter. Oh, I do. I love making babysitters crack. They each have their own special breaking point. There will be no cracking the babysitter, okay? Why do we have to have a babysitter? And why does she have to be a teenager? I've heard a lot of bad things about teenagers. Me too! It's uh, like they totally have metal teeth spots on their faces and they like talk on the phone until the battery dies and then they pick up another one? Hello, Susie. Guess what I just said to Mickey on my other phone? I totally hope she's not like one of those teenagers. Oh, it's Bailey. Right on time. Hi, Bailey. Come on in. Any trouble finding the place? No, not at all. What was that? It's worse than I thought. Just listen to her horrible voice. We're doomed! <gasps> it can't be! You're not a babysitter. You're a guy. Definite guy. 
It's all over. We're done for. Teenage boys are the worst kind of teenagers ever. Worse than girls? A million times. They're trickier, so never look one in the eye. Why not? Because they can hypnotize you and make you do anything they want. Ah, there's Will. Hey, Will, why don't you come down and meet Bailey? Hi, Will. How are you? A little shy? That's okay. Okay, now. Remember, Bailey's in charge, so be on your best behavior. <sighs> okay, Bailey, here's how to get in touch with us, just in case. Love you guys. Good luck. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Have a great night. So, Bailey, if that really is your name, I think I'm going to go watch a little mind-numbing TV. What do you think about that? <laughs> nice try, Fred. I know what you're doing. You do? Sure. You're sizing me up. Trying to find a weakness so you can break the new babysitter. It's not going to work. Why not? Don't look him in the eye, Fred. Because I've broken more babysitters and substitute teachers than you've had hot meals. It's too late. Um, Bailey, I'm going to do my homework if that's okay with you. Good call, Fredster. He's good. I'm going up to my room, okay? Okay. Hey, Kate, how would you like to play a little giddy-up? <laughs> Why would Mom and Dad let this strange teenager look after us? Especially one that knows how to turn you into a zombie. Oh, this is going to be the worst night ever. No, it won't. There are ways to resist the powers of teenage zombification. There are? Tell me. Well, first you'll need a little mirror, like the kind your mom carries in her purse. Why? On account of the fact that you can never talk to them directly. Always talk to their reflection. Who's there? Hey, Will, it's just me. Mind if I come in? Only if you promise not to look right at me. Whoa, cool room, Will. No way! You collect Micron Rangers too? Sweet! I've been collecting these since I was about your age. How do I know you're not just saying that? Hmm? Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to order a pizza and wondered if you wanted anything special on it. Fred told me you like pickles, raisins, and earthworm toppings. I do not! I'll call you when it gets here, okay? Ew! Who likes earthworms on their pizza? Oh, that's disgusting. Flies, maybe. Yuck! I think this teenager is messing with you. I can't tell. Will, come on down. The pizza's here. Oh, would you look at that? There's not a single pickle or earthworm on this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting like such a doofus? Fred, it's me, Will! Duh, what's your problem? I don't trust this Bailey teenager one bit. Just chill and eat your pizza. Chill? Did you say chill? <gasps> That's a teenager's word! Fred, you've got to snap out of it! Uh, tissues usually go in the nose there, Will. Hey, Kate, can I cut that into smaller pieces for you? Thanks, Bailey. So, Fred, have you played the new Matrix Von Hedgehog video game yet? Have you played it yet? Sure. It's cool. Here's a tip. Collect three power balls and you can hyper burrow into the next level. No way. Absolutely way. Cool. Cool. I'm all done. Can I be excused? Sure thing, big guy. You sure you don't want any more? I'm, uh, not very hungry. I looked directly at him. Now what? Are you feeling all right, Will? Why? What have you done to me? <laughs> You're funny. I told you not to look directly at him. Let me see that. Ah! Hmm, just as I thought. What is it? An eyeball. Don't worry. There's no sign of zombie-itis. <laughs> Unless you have a sudden craving for brain, that is. Will? It's Bailey. Come in. Can't fall asleep, huh? 
Will my mom and dad be home soon? I remember the first time my parents left me and my sister with a babysitter. Sally Fazio. Was she a scary teenager? She looked like a great big bird and had this awful squawky voice. Did she make you do crazy things like dance like a chicken or turn you into a zombie? <laughs> no. The thing I remember most is I didn't like her as much as my parents. Did she ever babysit you again? Oh yeah, for about 10 years. And you know what? Now she's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Really? Babysitter's on her. Listen, Will, a babysitter can't replace your parents, but sometimes your mom and dad need to get out and enjoy themselves. That's where I come in. We're home! Come on, let's go see your folks. But they'll be upset because I'm not in bed. Nah, I bet they'll be really happy to see you. How'd it go, Bailey? We had a pretty good night, didn't we, Will? Did you have a nice date? We sure did, but it's nice to be home. Come on, I'll tuck you in. Say goodnight to Bailey. Good night, Bailey. Thanks for not turning me into a zombie or dancing chicken. No problem, Will. I had fun. Hey, Bailey. If my parents ever go out again, will you babysit us? Sure thing. See you around, Will. I'm glad you made it, Will. You were pretty brave considering you had a brand new babysitter and he was a teenager. I thought for sure you were doomed. You told me all sorts of crazy stuff about teenagers and not a bit of it was true. In fact, I think I made a new friend. I never knew that moms and fathers need a break from daily bothers. If a new sitter is intended, they'll call someone recommended. Someone recommended so that Splendid, ensuring you're well tended. So let us now review that trying someone new shouldn't make you shake and twitter. It's just a babysitter. And while you be intended, you might find yourself befriended by the person looking after you. A new friend you never knew. Yeah.